Future trading involves risk and is not suitable for all investors. Content provided in this segment is meant for educational purposes and is not a solicitation to buy or sell commodities. Hi, welcome to the October 9th edition of Basis Little with Joe Schmidt. I am Joe Schmidt. This episode, as always, is produced by Paige Driscoll with help from the EverAg Insights team. It's the best time of the year. We have baseball playoffs, preseason NBA, and regular season NFL. What better way to celebrate than with the latest from the NDPSR report? We'll start this week with butter. This butter number came in at 290.08. That is a plus five and a half to the CME one week average of 284.45. Five and a half is above our regular basis. You would expect higher than normal basis on the decline that we're seeing at the CME and butter. However, the CME was down 18 cents and the NDPSR price also down 18 cents. So the CME and the NDPSR are tracking very closely, moving hand in hand as we come off highs of the year and search for an acceptable price. We traded 59 loads at the CME last week. So big volume at the CME, that volume translates here to the NDPSR because it's NDPSR volume, 4.8 million pounds. So about 1.3 1.3 million pounds above our expected butter NDPSR volume. And it's impressive that the manufacturer was able to call a five and a half cent premium and move outsized volume. All in all, I'd have to call it a win for butter this week. Up next is our two varieties of cheese. We'll start with the 40 pound block. This block number came in at 225.78. That is a minus one to the CME one week average of 226.70. So this is the first week off of our highs of the year in the block. The price disappointing somewhat coming in a little bit under. Actually, you would expect higher than normal basis in a market that's decreasing here. The block price came in at a minus one. So a little bit of a disappointment on price. And that's not where the disappointment ends. Disappointment here on volume also. The manufacturer was only able to sell a little bit north of 10.2 million and had to discount to move even that way. We traded 12 loads at the CME last week. So I'd have to call that moderate volume at the CME. All in all, a disappointment here in the blocks in terms of both price and volume. Up next is the barrel, 251.38. That is a big price historically. This is our high week of the year for the barrel. The CME barrel average was 251.37. So basically, essentially a flat basis here for the barrel at the high. So on that run up to 260 at the CME, the two week coming in well short of that level. However, a flat basis to the two week average at that high of the year and the high two week average for the barrel the manufacturer was able to move just a little bit short of 12 and a half million pounds all in all i'd have to call it a win for the manufacturer and you'll notice if you go back four weeks barrel volume has been struggling for a month or so but here at the high end of the range a lot of business was done north of 13 million pounds for two weeks and right around that 12 and a half million for another two. So the manufacturer was able to move a lot of weight at the high end of the annual barrel trading range. All in all, I'd have to call it a win for the manufacturer in the barrel. Up next is whey. This whey number, 5461. That's a minus four and a half to the CME one week average of 59.10. But of course, in whey, we're always talking about the prior week's NDPSR, this is the September 21st week of 5296. So let's call it 53 even. So the manufacturer was able to call a penny and a half over prior week's NDPSR, nice basis. And at that elevated level, moved a whopping 7 million pounds. So 7 million pounds on the NDPSR with only 12 loads trading on the CME last week. So not a whole lot of help, not nothing, but not a whole lot of help. And what's interesting is this way NDPSR figure has been kind of stair stepping higher. So we trade at a certain price level for two weeks and then we trade up in 
price a little bit for two weeks and then trade up in price for another two weeks. So sales that are occurring this week, they'll be looking at this 5440 in the PSR print that we put last week. So I would expect if we maintain this penny and a half basis over prior week's NDPSR, that we could see another step up next week on the NDPSR release, probably in the neighborhood of the 56 cent level. And then lastly, non-fat, 133.28, that represents a minus five, which is a huge victory for non-fat as of late. That's a minus five to the CME one week average of 138.45. We traded 18 loads on the CME last week, and that is decent volume at the CME here on the NDPSR falling a little bit short of 17 and a half million pounds. So disappointing volume and basis in non-fat persists. So this is week one of four for the October pricing cycle. Currently getting an October class three expiration of 22.73 with an October class four expiration of 21.28. So we have a nice premium of class three over class four. If you carry current equivalents out through the entire November pricing cycle, now we're still pricing October at the CME, but if you take today's CME and carry it out through the November pricing cycle, you get a November class three of 2040, November class four of 2070. So in the weeks to come, we could see that class four move higher and have that inverse relationship to class three that we've seen for much of this year. We'll see what they have in store for us in the weeks to come. Until then, on behalf of Paige and the entire Everag Insights team, I'm Joe. Thanks. See you next week.